It's been another week, and so it's time for another animal. This week's animal is the Aardwolf. Aardwolf means earth wolf in Afrikaans and Dutch. They resemble a small hyena going through a rebellious emo phase. Aardwolves live in East and Southern Africa, in a range that includes South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and parts of Angola in the South, and Somalia, part of Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Kenya in the East. They only live in these parts of Africa, because these are all desert or savanna habitats where their prey lives. The reason there are two separate populations of Aardwolf is because of Miombo Forest in between them, that the Aardwolves can't live in due to the lack of their food source. Aardwolves are strangely insectivores, unlike all other hyenas that are predominantly carnivores. Aardwolves only feed on a specific genus of termites, Trinervaterms. These termites live off dead grass, so this is why aardwolves only live in savanna and desert areas, as that is where their specific prey lives. Aardwolves have long sticky tongues, like aardvarks, and this allows them to eat around 250,000 termites in one night. We don't know much about the mating behaviour of aardwolves, because they are shy nocturnal animals, but we do know that they mate around autumn or spring, Two to four cubs are born, and the pair of aardwolves will raise the cubs for a year together until the cub is old enough to leave. Aardwolves are monogamous, meaning they mate for life. The most notable attribute of these animals is that they eat termites, and their mouths have many adaptations to help with this. As mentioned before, their tongues are very sticky and broad to get the most termites possible. Their muscles also have relatively little hair to stop termites sticking to it instead of going in their mouths. They do still possess canines like other hyenas, but their cheek teeth are mere pegs, as all they need to do is mush up soft termites. Aardwolves are generally nocturnal animals, but during winter will sometimes become diurnal and sleep in their burrows at night to conserve heat. Aardwolves will live with their partners in multiple burrows all over their well-marked territories. They will use old aardvark or porcupine burrows, and only make their own if they have to. Aardwolves are obviously in the family hyena day, and are thought to have split from other hyenas around 15 to 32 million years ago. This makes them the oldest extant species of hyena. Aardwolves will sometimes be attacked by larger predators, and in these cases, aardwolves don't like to fight. They try to run away, but if they can't, they bush up their manes to get as big as possible. Humans do threaten aardwolves through agriculture and urban expansion, as many farms plough and destroy termite mounds, making it impossible for aardwolves to live there. They are sometimes shot after being mistaken for hyenas, or caught in traps meant for other animals. Despite this, aardwolf populations are stable, and the IUCN classes them as least concern. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.